Hi, and welcome to Engineering Essentials AutoCAD Instruction. In this episode, we will be taking a look at AutoCAD's user interface. AutoCAD is a drawing package. It allows you to draw in both 2D and 3D. The commands used to create the 2D objects are different than those used to create 3D objects. Therefore, AutoCAD has two main workspaces. You can see these workspaces if you look at the top up here. You can see that there's a drafting and annotation workspace, a 3D basic workspace, and a 3D modeling workspace. Each workspace contains commands specific to creating either 2D objects or 3D objects. All right, so right now we're in the 2D drafting and annotation workspace. So let's take a look at different ways that you can access commands in this workspace. The first way that you can access commands is through the ribbon. And this is the most common and uh, most highly used method. And that's at the top. You can see all these commands here at the top. This is called the ribbon. You can see all these icons. It's uh, made very easy for you to just click on any command that you like. Um, and it's very uh, useful and uh, efficient to uh, select commands in the ribbon. So that's the first way. And you'll notice that the ribbon is broken up into tabs. So we have like the home tab, the insert tab, the annotate tab, parametric tab, and so on. That's because there are so many commands that uh, AutoCAD has that it has to break it up into different tabs because you can't show it all, you know, on one little tab. Now within each tab, there are panels. So here we have the draw panel, the modify panel, the annotation panel, the layer panel, and so on. So you can see that within each panel, there are a group of commands that are kind of common. So within the draw panel, you can see that there are commands that allow you to draw. So line, polyline, circle, arc, uh, et cetera. In the modify panel, there are commands that allow you to modify geometry after it's been made. So we have move, copy, mirror, rotate, etc. Now you'll notice on these panels there's a little uh, arrow. Well, what you see are not all the commands in the panel. If you click on that arrow, there are more. However, if you move your mouse off of the panel, uh, it disappears. Now if you don't want that to happen, what you do is you click and you pin it. So you can pin the panel. Now when you move your mouse off, it remains. Now you can unpin it, and then it'll disappear again. So there are many commands in AutoCAD. Um, you may not be familiar with all of them or any of them at this point. So AutoCAD has provided tool tips. So for example, if you don't know what a particular icon or command does, all you have to do is take your cursor over the command, rest on it for a bit, you get a tool tip, a brief one, but if you keep holding it over the command, you get an extended one. So then you can read a little bit on the command and get a little familiar with it. So that's called a tool tip. All right, so the second way that we can access commands is through the command window. And that is down here. So you can see right now it says type a command. And that's really all you do. So if you want to, let's say, create a line, well, you would type line. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll type line, hit enter, and it's asking you to specify the first point. So I'll click. Now it's asking to specify the next point. So I'll click, and then I'll hit enter to get out of the command. And let's say we want to draw a circle. So I'll type circle. Hit enter. And now AutoCAD wants me to select a center point. 
So I'll click a center point. Now AutoCAD wants me to specify a radius. So I'll enter a radius of two. And there we have it. Now a nice little speed up feature, I guess, um, is the space bar. If you want to repeat the last command that you just uh, performed, all you do is hit the space bar. So I'm going to hit the space bar and you can see, bam, it does the circle again. So you can go ahead and repeat the last command that you've performed. So that's a nice little feature. All right, so that's the second way of uh, inputting commands or access accessing commands. So there's also a third way, and that is through the shortcut menu. The shortcut menu can be accessed by right-clicking your mouse. So I'm going to right-click my mouse right now, and you can see it brings up a shortcut menu that gives you some options. You can repeat your circle command, repeat some recent inputs. Uh, there's some other commands that you can see here. Uh, so that's the shortcut menu. So I'll escape out of that. All right, so the fourth way is the browser, the menu browser. This is this uh, upper uh, left-hand corner here, this little AutoCAD symbol. I'm going to click on that, and you can see this little search box here. So if you don't know where a command is located within the ribbon panel or or you don't know what the typed command is, you can just kind of search for it. So let's say that um, I want to know how to erase something. So I'll type in erase. All right, so you can see the best match right here. It's telling me that the erase command is the best match, and it's telling me where it's located. It's located in the ribbon uh, uh, tab of home. Uh, the panel modify and the command is erase. So I could go there and pick up that command or I can just click on it right there and uh, erase what I want to erase. All right, so that's the fourth way. Uh, the fifth way is through the tool palettes. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the tool palette. I'll get into the view tab, click on tool palette. Now, I don't really use this too often, although it does contain all the commands. You can see here you have all your draw commands, your modify commands, and any other command that you like. Uh, some useful commands, however, that are available in the tool palette uh, are associated with specific engineering fields. So, for example, the mechanical engineering specific uh, commands if you have specific roller bearings or bolts or nuts uh, you can access them here also have a civil uh, panel here and an electrical so it can be useful for that um, however for simple drawings I rarely go to the tool palette so I'll close that down all right so the last way uh, or the last couple ways I'm going to show you is through the quick access toolbar and the status bar. <clears throat> the quick uh, quick access toolbar is up here at the top. So this is a toolbar that you can put any command that you like in. However, me personally, I just kind of relegate it to file management, you know, new, open, save, save as, print you know, the standard kind of uh, commands that you would find up there. The second way is the status bar that's here at the bottom. So you can see there's a lot of commands that you probably, you know, are unfamiliar with. They don't look familiar to you at all, but that's fine. We'll learn how to use those. The first one I want to point out is these bunch of numbers here. That's your coordinates. AutoCAD is big on coordinates, and we'll learn all about that. But you can see when I move my cursor around the screen, those numbers change. And that's the coordinate position of my cursor. All right, so the rest of the commands are really commands that you want to be able to turn on and off very frequently. So, for example, the grid. You know, I like to turn my grid on and off. The next one is snap. 
Uh, there are also uh, a lot of tracking, snapping commands. Uh, we'll get into those later on as well. Uh, but these are commands that you'll be turning on and off very frequently, so they like to have those out and uh, accessible. So that's the status bar. All right, so we've gone over different ways that you can access your uh, commands. Now let's see how we actually start a new drawing and, and set up our parameters. So we're going to go up here to New. So in the Quick Access Toolbar, we're going to click on New. And you'll notice that we have a Create New Drawing window. This will take us through setting all our parameters. We'll click on this Start from Scratch uh, icon here, and it allows us to set up our units. So we can set them up to be in uh, imperial units, where it's feet or inches, or metric units. And then once we have our units, then we can go to the uh, wizard and set up all kinds of things. So I will I'll step through that to show you how you can set up all of that. So you can set your your unit measure, you know, whether decimal, engineering, so on. I'm going to set it to decimal and set my precision to two decimal points. And you can set your angle and its precision, uh, what direction you want your angle to be measured, you know, the orientation, and your paper size. All right, so usually when we print, uh, we're printing on a regular, you know, laser printer or inkjet printer, which has uh, eight and a half by 11. Uh, size sheet of paper. So that's what I'm going to set my paper size to be. So 11 by 8.5 and, and I'll say finish. Alright, so once I set up my uh, drawing, you know, I like to go in and check that everything was set up correctly. So there are two very useful commands for that. The first one is units. And it tells me, okay, yes, I did set it up to be decimal. My precision is two decimal places, and it's inches, yeah, so everything's good there. So I'll go okay, okay on that. And the other one is called limits, and that checks my paper size. So the lower left corner of my limits is always zero, zero. That's the origin. And the upper right gives me the size, so that's 11 by 8.5. So that's good as well. All right, so I started from scratch. I opened a drawing, I started from scratch. What happens if you want to start from a template? Okay, well, we can do that. Uh, to change how we start our drawing, we can type in the command start up. And I'm going to change that variable to zero. And now I'm going to click on start a new drawing. And you can see instead of a start from scratch window, we have a select template window. So that is controlled by the start up variable. So I'll cancel that. So again, if I change start up back to one, if I select new, it takes me back to create new drawing. So zero is select template, one is create new drawing. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we know how to access commands. We know how to start a drawing. Uh, so before we go, let's just uh, take a quick look at the 3D workspace and see the differences. All right, so here we have uh, our 3D modeling. And you can see that the commands are look quite different. Uh, they're more uh, geared towards, of course, creating 3D objects. Uh, let's take a look at the basic, 3D basic. And you can see, again, very much geared towards 3D drawing. And I'll take you back to the 2D drafting and annotation workspace. All right, so I hope this helps. Um, 
have fun, explore, and I'll see you in the next episode.